with the new Nerf Ultra 4. Okay, this Ultra series basically they are a superior tier compared to the standard Elite series. But does the Ultra 4, not the 4th gen by the way, does the Ultra 4 deliver its promises of up to 120 feet? Let's find out. Hey guys, this is Chester here. You guys are watching our channel. And today we'll be taking a look at yet another Nerf product right here. This is the Nerf Ultra 4. So what is Ultra? Ultra is basically a new series that Nerf is creating that promises to deliver a tier higher. Because the standard Elite series, you know, they deliver up to 90 feet. Yeah, 90 feet. Yeah, so now the Ultra is at up to 120 feet. Uh, whether it does deliver on the claims or not, we do not know for sure. But uh, what we do know is to deliver specifically 120 feet, you need to fire at a good angle. The land needs to be going downhill. There needs to be wind behind you and you need a lot of people to pray. That's how you achieve 120 feet. Alright, so this is basically this, this particular blaster is a spring powered single shot, which means that you fire one time, prime, and you fire, uh, sorry, you load one time, prime, and you fire one time. That's it. Right? And it holds two darts in its integrated storage. Alright, let's take a look and let's get into the box itself. So over here at the front of the box, you'll find that it is a uh, standard packaging, everything that's a little bit of protruding here. There's a big there's a dart here. I believe this will be included part of the set of four darts that have been included. Okay. Moving to the back of the box, uh, standard stuff. Uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, two on board dart storage, a little bit marketing about darts, uh, 36 meters, 120 feet. Alright, moving to the sides, uh, standard stuffs. Yeah, Ultra 4, Ultra 4, Ultra 4. Alright, let's open this up. Okay, so this is actually my first Ultra Blaster. I wasn't really very happy with the uh, Ultra series because of the differences in the dart. So back when uh, in the Elite series, you know, whether it's the Elite, the Zombie Strike, the Doom Lens and everything, you could pretty much uh, interchange the darts, which means that you can have different blasters and yet still have maintained compatibility. But with the new Ultra series, you're stuck, you're, you're stuck by using only the Ultra darts. So basically, it's free marketing lah. Yeah. Anyway, opening, opening up the, 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 the box. Okay, what do we have here? Empty. And I need to open, I need to get this that out. And I know this is the wrong way, but I don't judge. <laughs> ah, how do I get it out? Let's see here. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so, uh, Included with the with the blaster is the blaster itself and four ultra darts. So this is the one that was on display, and there's uh, three more that is comes packaged. I do wish they save a little bit of plastic though, but uh, that's my opinion. All right, so this is all you get. Very simple, very clean. Okay, so a little bit of a little bit more about the dart. So why are so many people complaining about the ultra dart? Is because of this nut right here. Yeah, so this nut right here basically is that DRM as some people like to call it. So what it means that it means that it this because of this nut right, it will not accept your previous generation darts, your elite darts, for example. So because inside the blaster, uh, you can see it more clearly in the Ultra Two, the the cylinder version. There is a particular loading mechanism that will only recognize the dart if the dart has comes with this particular nut. So it's very annoying because that means that you cannot use your old darts. So that's why Ultra Blasters can only use Ultra Darts. Alright, so moving on to the analysis of the dart, continuing. So the material is a bit different. Uh, it's definitely thicker than your standard Elite Dart. Although it is not as thick compared to the Mega Dart. Okay, uh, it's made of styrofoam, which uh, you know you can't bend it. Yeah, I don't want to destroy it because I never bought an extra refill pack. So if I if I lose this for that's it, it's game over. I need to go and buy a new one. So I don't I don't spend the money on that. So yeah, it has a little bit of a fin on it at the end. A bit, uh, there's uh, there's small there's a small little hollow pin right there. So probably to let oh there's two actually, uh, on opposite ends. Yeah, 
So that's good because uh, on some elite darts, they only have one hole, which means that when it moves, it will have fish tail. Alright. Okay, moving on to the blaster itself. It's actually a pretty thin blaster, which I like, which means that you can actually holster it. Pretty good. Okay, so uh, moving on this side, you know, you got your Nerf logo, you have the Ultra the logo, which is actually in gold, by the way. But if you can see on the other side, nope, no paint and just plastic. So I really wish, you know, if you want to go all out with Ultra, right, you should go all out with both colors gold, but that's my opinion. Moving to the front of the blaster, you have no end strike uh, muzzle attachment because, duh, this is a pistol. Uh, yeah, so this is just one, yeah. Okay, this is where the dart storage is, so you can actually load, you can put the dart here. Yeah, that's it, come on. Yeah, it's quite firm. Yeah, so if you knock the blaster hard, it will drop lah, but on most cases, it won't. Yeah, so you can just fit it on there, that's your two dart, uh, two, uh, dart storage. Okay, moving to the top of the blaster, there's a single end strike rail. Uh, elite attachment rail, so you can attach your scopes and everything. Alright, uh, moving on to the grip. So this is actually a big grip. Like you can see, like it, it, I don't need to, like my finger, my hands doesn't go all the way across, but it's good enough. But I got a feeling that uh, this might this might be a little bit irritating, but uh, that's just my opinion. Moving on to the trigger. Trigger is pretty comfortable. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty good. Not Not too much, not too little. Alright, talking about the trigger. Alright, so the trigger, right, this is a T-style priming handle, bar. So you basically put it back, and this is a long priming handle, and you let go. Yeah, so it has a built-in spring that you can you know, automatically go back. So this is, this is different from the, uh, the, the disruptors and the strong arms. So that one, you have to go there, and then you have to put it back. Yeah, so this one, you put it back, and then you can release on its own, then you fire. Alright. So talking about firing, right, I realized one thing. Yeah, it actually has like, if, like there's a little bit of a recoil to it. Like see, I'm not sure if you can see on camera. Let me let me try it through again. Yeah, there's a little bit of like recoil, which is a bit satisfying, given that you know this is supposed to be ultra, right? So back to the blaster, there is in terms of sling mounts, there is one at the bottom here. Alright, and then there's one right here. So you can go for a two-point sling or you can go for a one-point sling. It doesn't really matter a lot because this is a pistol after all. So one point is usually good enough. So if you need for a secondary, you can just take it out and just fire. Alright. So, uh, yeah, that's about it for the overall uh, analysis of the blaster itself. So before we move on to the firing demo, I want to give you guys a little bit of a dimensions check. So in terms of the overall length, right, this blaster, it is about 32 cm. So that's about uh, 12 and a half inches. Okay. In terms of the in terms of the height, it is about 19, 19 and a half cm, which is about seven and a half to eight inches. And in terms of the width, let's see. So in terms of the width, it's about four cm, which is about one and a half inches. Now, those dimensions may come in handy if you want to develop a uh, what's that? The sling mount, uh, sorry, the holster for the blaster. Alright, so we're gonna go over to the firing demo and then I'll show you guys how it feels and how it looks like when you shoot. So here we go. Okay, so we are gonna be firing the demo. Uh, we're gonna have a firing demo of the Ultra 4. So let's load the dart. That's hard. That was hard. Wow. Okay, so uh, back to the blaster. So my personal opinion of this is initially I wasn't going to be blown away because given the Elite uh, styles, I have been disappointed thoroughly uh, by some of the blasters. They claim to hit far, but then you know when you fire, it's like, nah. it, you'll be lucky if you can fire 10 meters. That's about 30 feet. 
I think 30 feet yeah give or take about 30 plus feet yeah but it claims to be about 70 to 90 feet so back to this blaster it claims to hit 120 feet about 36 meters but uh, on one hand I don't think that this blaster is going to hit 120 feet definitely on the other hand uh, based on the firing demo that you have just saw it shoots hard like you can hear the sound when it hits the door it's like poop poop yeah so it's very fast so it means that yes this blaster is more powerful than your standard elite series which means that they indeed the ultra series is indeed one tier higher than the elite series which also means that uh please be careful uh, when you're dealing when you're handing this blaster to young kids because you do not want to injure them so as with all blasters when you're playing with this outdoors or indoors please wear eye protection because you don't want to damage your body after all this is just we are all just having fun right yep so uh one thing to take note so just now i was mentioning about the dart the the dude the tooth there so if you actually were to see the internals of the blaster this particular thing you actually see that there is actually a nut there so you actually have to press this in hard enough close enough for the nut to actually register then the dart will then the blaster will actually register that you know there's actually a dart in the chamber all right so uh that is all for our uh, unboxing and first look and review of the Nerf Ultra 4. Alright, like this video if you liked it, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. I'm Chester, that's all for today. See you guys.